Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be doing fried fish. Porgies, if you ever heard of it. It's kind of a bony fish, but it's absolutely delicious. We're gonna get right to it. All right, so we're gonna start with getting our flour and cornmeal. This is about a cup of flour and about a third of a cup of cornmeal. I'm only frying three pieces of fish. So you have to decide how much you're gonna need. <laughs> I'm always forgetting something. All right, so inside this, I'm gonna put some seasoning salt. I'm gonna put onion powder. Now, I would not advise you to put garlic powder. I'm sorry, this is um, MSG. I can't leave home without it. This is a little ground ginger, not much. And black pepper. Now, what I was saying is, I do not advise you to put garlic powder in this mix because excuse me, <coughs> this is a coating and garlic excuse me <coughs> oh garlic powder will give you the illusion that your fish is done because it will burn it browns the smoked paprika i would not advise you to put in it because it'll do the same all right so we're just gonna put this together now what i do all right i'm a little crazy but that's all right. People who know me already know that. I'm going to take a little out. And I'm going to taste it. Need a little more salt. Not much. All right. Now that's good. Not going to touch that anymore. We're not going to do too much. Now. This is my fish, all nice and clean. I did not have any lemon, so I used vinegar. Now you wanna be careful with lemons and vinegar cause it will, what we call, cook your fish. I'm gonna start with the skin side. It will cook your fish. And you don't want that, you want it to cook in some deep, um, in a deep frying pan, <laughs> deep fried. All right, so what I'm gonna do not much, I'm still gonna put a little seasoning. Not much because the coating is already, the batter is already seasoned. Ginger, ginger powder, not too much. Definitely not too much salt. Black pepper. Well, is the black pepper. <laughs> Out of the black pepper. Oh, ah, it's just pepper. And MSG. Now, this is where you could put, if you're going to put garlic powder, this is when you put it the garlic powder or the smoked paprika. Or the regular paprika. It don't have to be smoked. I like the smoked paprika. Okay, I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Don't want to do too much salt. I'm taking this off. Okay. Ginger. Onion powder. Did I put onion powder on the other side? I don't remember. Or if I didn't. Oh well. MSG. Well, I'm out of pepper, but I put it. <laughs> I put enough on the other side. But I have more pepper, so I'm not going for it right now. Okay. And the paprika. All right. So that's done. What I'm going to do now is 
crack my egg. Mm. I don't think that's gonna be enough egg. One thing I can't stand is to waste my food. You can put another egg in there and I don't really need it. So we, this is gonna be a trial. I'm not putting another egg in there. I'm gonna put some buttermilk in there. gonna have to use the other egg <laughs> I'll be right back all right so I'm back I had to use another egg because my buttermilk made it a little too thick I didn't want to use another egg but I had to but anyway let me stop crying about an egg so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first dip my fish in this here egg and then I'm gonna put it in here in the flour. Make sure it coats good. Now, if you don't want to, I butterfly my fish. You don't have to do that. You can leave it closed if you like. I just find that the it's season the season sticks with it better when it's um when it's butterflied. Take it off and put it on that rack. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. Now, meanwhile, my oil is getting hot while I'm doing this. It's heating up, baby. I hope you guys can see that. I still haven't mastered this video thing yet. I'm just getting over my camera shy. Well, I'm not even over it. Sometimes you'll hear me babbling. Those be my nerves. Everybody know fish don't take long to cook. It don't take long. But anyway, we're gonna go over here to the stove. All right, so we're by the stove. I think I'm just gonna do one at a time. Here. That's what I'm gonna do, but one at a time. I'm gonna do about, I'll make the same. We're gonna start with five minutes on each side and see how that works out. Depends on how crispy you want it. You don't wanna dry your fish out. The longer you keep it in there, it won't dry out. 
You don't want dried out fish. You might want it crispy, but you don't want your meat inside to be dry. So do not overcook your fish. I'll be back when it's time to turn it. All right, so we're back. Let's see. Let's see if it gives what it's supposed to give. If it's giving. See, I don't like my fish to look like this. I don't like dark marks on my food. And then because of the cut, you see in there? But we're going to fix that. Definitely going to fix that. That won't happen to me again. I'm going to fix that. It sure will. I'm going to let this other side cook. And I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back. Now, I have to fix that. The fish was butterfly. That's alright. I just have to break it off and let it cook because there's no way I'm gonna not have that part cook. It's just not happening. things can just be fixed. They don't be that serious. They do not be that serious. Just because it's a video does not make it perfect. And I'm not going to sit here and face like something perfect. Look at that. Easy fix. Easy fix. Still not dark like I want it. At least it's done. All right, we're gonna take this piece out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in that kitchen cooking and you feel like things aren't going perfect, that's all right. We can fix it. Look at that. Doesn't like that now. It still looks a little light out, but I'm going to show you that it's done. Remember, I told you we don't want to dry our fish out. And I'm not editing anything out. See? Done. And how? And we're going to go in with another piece. Let's hope that we don't get a repeat of what just happened. <laughs> let's, let's strive for perfection right here.
so like I said, let's try for, for let's try for perfection with this one. There's no guarantees, but we're gonna see. I'll be back. Okay, let's see how this one came out. That's what I'm talking about. That's much better. Much better. Well, we'll be back after everything is done. After all the fish is fried. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. And we're all done. Now look how that turned out. I can't wait to eat this. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I remember the problem we had in the beginning. And we fixed it. Easy fix. All right. There we have it. You could put this with mashed potatoes. You could make a salad. You could make a macaroni salad. You could make rice. Whatever you want. You don't have to make anything. Maybe you want to eat it just like this. It's yours. You can do as you please. Well, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Please come again. And on your way out, you think you could like this video if you did? Share this video if you can. And subscribe to it. I thank you so very much for coming. Have a great day. Bye-bye.